Hi, I'm Sigmund Kukwa. I'm a rising senior in high school and have been developing VR games for about six years under the organization named PicoPlanet Developing. Since 2019, my focus has been on the Oculus Rift and MetaQuest platforms, and I've released two games on the store for Rift and Quest. I recently organized a Python programming workshop, and something that I found very interesting was the gap between the advanced skill level of some of these students and the limiting factor being the block programming curriculum still used throughout middle school. At some point, it's necessary to consider what we're really using block programming for, and this got me thinking. Many qualities of block programming mesh together well with the syntax of assembly language. So maybe let's redefine the use of block programming to not be a limiting factor to students wanting to learn more, and instead let it really shine as an introduction to writing assembly, which is a common task in the computer engineering world. And thus my next project, Processor Simulator, was born. This game fully implements every instruction available in the original 6502 processor, a staple of late 70s and early 80s computing, powering devices like Atari consoles, the Commodore 64, and the Apple II. Its legacy lives on as its robustness makes it still a prevalent choice for environments in which reliability is a must. Medical devices like pacemakers or in embedded systems in the auto industry come to mind. I'm creating a wealth of in-game tutorials that walk K-12 through learners through how a basic computer reads and executes instructions, interacts with memory and peripherals, and makes decisions. These follow a first principles pattern that builds up in both complexity and fascination, covering concepts like opcodes, assemblers, and more. I'd like to show a few examples of prototype tutorials that I've already created, along with ways that these could be extended. So here we have a computer attached by memory to some ports and students can create an alternating marquee pattern on this port B. But what if this were instead the actual timing device for a pacemaker, and the pattern output by the computer helps to keep a human alive? Or this example of using the 6502 to fill in a display with color. But this engaging platform could also display numbers, short words, or even a version of Pong or Snake. Finally, here's a one-to-one -one look at the comparison between programming the computer with raw machine code and with assembly language to show the progression and hands-on attitude that we can take to teaching. Built with a hand-tracking first, but still controller-friendly attitude towards interaction really takes this to the next level of hands-on, and the future possibility of telepresence through meta-avatars and voice in the game could really transform this farther into the ideal classroom environment. This is just one example of what I'm working on right now, so if any of this sounds interesting to you, please reach out. I'm always looking for ways that my work can benefit various groups of people, and if you think that any of my projects would help achieve this goal, or if you'd like my skills on your team, I would love to hear from you. I'll leave my portfolio and contact info on a card at the end of the video and in the description. See you next time.